Introduction to Welding Welding is one of the most efficient and widely used methods for joining metal. It involves heating materials, often to the point of melting, and fusing them together to form a strong permanent bond. Unlike soldering or brazing, welding typically melts the base materials themselves, rather than just adding a bonding agent. Throughout history, welding has evolved from simple forge welding, where blacksmiths heated and hammered metal together, to today's highly advanced techniques used in industries ranging from construction to aerospace. Modern welding methods can accommodate everything from structural fabrication to delicate electronic components. While hands-on experience is essential for mastering welding, understanding the fundamental principles, processes, and safety considerations will help eliminate common mistakes and improve efficiency. Welding Processes Overview There are numerous welding processes, each with its advantages, applications, and technical requirements. While all welding relies on heat to create fusion, different methods generate that heat in various ways. One of the most widely used categories is arc welding, which employs an electric arc to create intense heat. Arc welding processes may use consumable or non-consumable electrodes and may or may not require filler material. Shielding methods, such as flux coatings or inert gas, help protect the weld from contamination. Another common category is gas welding, which uses a flame produced by burning fuel gas and oxygen. This method is widely used for pipe welding, sheet metal fabrication, and repair work. In general, welding processes can be grouped into arc welding, e.g. shielded metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding, flux cord arc welding, gas welding, e.g. oxyfuel gas welding, resistance welding, e.g. spot welding, seam welding, solid state welding, e.g. friction welding, ultrasonic welding. Each process has specific applications, benefits, and limitations. Some methods are ideal for thick structural components, while others work better for thin materials or precision welding. Oxyfuel gas welding, OFW, is one of the oldest and most versatile welding processes. It uses a flame produced by the combustion of oxygen and a fuel gas to generate the heat necessary for melting metal and forming a weld. This process is commonly used for light fabrication, repair work, and cutting operations. The main components of an oxyfuel welding system include Oxygen and fuel gas cylinders store and supply the gases needed for combustion. Regulators control the gas pressure coming from the cylinders. Hoses deliver the gases to the torch. Mixing torch combines oxygen and fuel gas in the proper ratio before ignition. Welding tip directs and shapes the flame for welding. Two of the most commonly used fuel gases for OFW are acetylene and MAP gas. Hash start 1.11 oxyfuel gas welding OFFW, acetylene sarin. Acetylene is the most popular fuel gas used in oxyfuel welding because of its high flame temperature and versatility. When combined with oxygen, acetylene produces a flame that can reach temperatures of approximately 5,700 degrees Fahrenheit, 3,148 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt most ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Dak heck, advantages of acetylene in welding. High flame temperature, provides deep penetration and fast welding speeds. Versatile flame adjustment can be set to neutral, oxidizing, or carburizing flames for different welding needs. Precise control allows for delicate and detailed work. Limitations. Higher cost. Acetylene is more expensive compared to other fuel gases. Storage concerns. Acetylene must be stored in specially designed cylinders with porous material and acetone to prevent instability. Lower safety margin, more sensitive to pressure and shock, requiring careful handling. Despite these limitations, acetylene remains the preferred fuel gas for oxyfuel welding when precision and high heat are required. 1.12 Oxyfuel Gas Welding, OFW, MAP gas, methyl acetylene propadiene propane, is an alternative fuel that offers a balance between cost, safety, and performance. It burns at a slightly lower temperature than acetylene, around 5,300 degrees at first, 2,927 degrees Celsius, but still provides enough heat for many welding and cutting applications. Advantages of MAP gas in welding. Increased safety. MAP gas is more stable than acetylene and does not require special storage conditions. Lower cost, generally more affordable and readily available. Longer cylinder life. Provide more burn time per cylinder compared to acetylene. Limitations. Lower flame temperature. 
slower heating times, and less penetration compared to acetylene. Less precise control produces a slightly broader and less concentrated flame. MAP gas is commonly used in brazing, soldering, and heating applications, rather than welding structural materials. However, for general-purpose heating and cutting tasks, it is a safe and practical choice. 1.2 Oxyfuel Gas Welding OFW Safety Oxyfuel gas welding involves working with highly flammable gases, high temperatures, and pressurized equipment, making safety a critical concern. Proper handling of cylinders, flame control, and ventilation are essential to prevent accidents and ensure a safe working and working environment. 1. 1.2.1 Cylinder Safety Gas cylinders contain compressed gases that can become dangerous if mishandled. Follow these guidelines to ensure safe storage and use. Secure cylinders upright. Prevent tipping by using chains or cylinder stands. Store away from heat sources in a cool, well-ventilated area away from sparks, flames, or direct sunlight. Check for leaks. Regularly inspect hoses, regulators, and fittings for signs of wear or damage. Use soapy water to detect gas leaks. Open valves slowly. Always turn gas valves slowly to prevent sudden pressure surges. Use proper color-coded hosed hoses. Oxygen hoses are typically green, while fuel gas hoses are red. Never swap or mix hoses. 1.22 Flame Safety A well-adjusted flame is critical for both welding quality and safety. Improper flame settings can lead to dangerous conditions, such as backfires or flashbacks. Neutral Flame Ideal for welding with a well-balanced oxygen-to-fuel ratio. Carburizing Flame produces excess fuel, resulting in a cooler flame that can introduce carbon into the weld. Oxidizing flame contains excess oxygen, which can lead to excessive oxidation and weaken the weld. To prevent flashbacks, dangerous condition where the flame travels back into the torch or hose, always use flashback arresters on both the oxygen and fuel gas lines. Keep hoses free from kinks or damage. Purge the system before lighting to remove trapped gases. 1.3. Ventilation and Personal Protective Equipment Proper ventilation is necessary to prevent gas buildup and exposure to harmful fumes. Working in a confined space without adequate ventilation can lead to oxygen displacement or inhalation of toxic gases. Recommended PPE includes welding goggles or a face shield, protects eyes from intense light and sparks, flame-resistant gloves and clothing, prevents burns from molten metal and sparks, Leather work boots offers protection against hot metal and falling objects. Hack 1.3 Conclusion Oxyfuel gas welding, OFW, remains a valuable and widely used process for welding, brazing, and cutting applications. Acetylene and MAP gas each offer unique advantages, with acetylene providing higher temperatures and better precision, while MAP gas offers increased safety and cost-effectiveness. Regardless of the fuel gas used, safety is paramount when working with oxyfuel systems. Proper handling of cylinders, maintain controlled flame, and using appropriate PPE ensure a safe and efficient welding process. By understanding the fundamentals of OFW, welders can select the right fuel gas for their needs and apply best practices to achieve high-quality results while minimizing risks.